What's up, nerds? Welcome back. We're on to episode six, and the castle's really shaping up. Now, 1.21 is officially out, but I haven't updated yet. But best believe me, when we do, we'll be going hard over on Twitch doing a subathon and stuff like that. Unfortunately, by the time you guys probably see this episode, that subathon will probably be done. But anyways that brings me into today today we're going to be building up the castle and bringing it up to the next stage and that stage is yep you guessed it the interior and the exterior walls so we're going to be hopping on over there and i'll show you guys exactly where we're at with the castle i think we're ready to take the castle into the next stage here i've got a bunch of things mapped out on over here on the roof and stuff some of these are going to be towers that are going to basically expand all the way up so I got a tower over here, got a tower over here, and I believe I have a tower over uh, over here as well. Just to kind of add a little bit of variation to our roofs and adding more towers. But more importantly, we have the interior mapped out right here. So you'll see that I got a little bit of a thing going on here. I had to like kind of shorten it out a bit. That way we were able to build these walls up. Obviously, you guys know this is going to be a little bit of a greenhouse vibe inside of here. And I think that's going to look absolutely fantastic. And then working on up here you guys can see we got a little bit of our balcony in place i think this works really really well and then we can start building up the interior here as well we're going to be building up these walls here and then i would like to arch the walls and have a little bit of a glass kind of like greenhouse roof here so i'm thinking if we start building up these walls on the inside we can start actually seeing how that is and another important thing to know is I actually got a huge amount of the lapis down on the roof here. So check this out. If we fly all the way up, you can see that we got the entire roof all lapis out, which looks absolutely fantastic. But I'm going to need even more lapis because we're going to need to add them to our towers and such. What do you call a chicken stirring at lettuce? Chicken Caesar salad. All right. I think I got all the quartz walls done. Got my gamma absolutely cranked right now. So you guys can actually see what's going on in here. So I think next up, I got to build up the floors. We're going to build the botanical garden in here. Got all these walls in place. Upwards to 80,000 uh, quartz pillars now. All time, not just for this build. But yeah, this was uh, this was quite something. So after this, I'm going to start like bringing out a little bit more of the curvature in here, adding some circles, some really cool domes. But before I do that, I want to start working out my windows and my balconies and stuff like that. So for like little areas like this. So I don't know if there's a way I can actually land up here. Let me go through this way. So we come through here. We have these really cool like little triangle dealios right up in here. If I bring this out and we make like these like half moon kind of balconies, I think that would look really, really cool. And obviously bring a little bit more to the walls here. We also got to do up a little bit of these things and those things. And I got some more towers going in place, but those are the main walls. Okay. So one of the resources that we're going to need for today is going to be copper. And I'm thinking that we're going to go into this hole here. And we're going to see how much copper we can come out with because I'm not actually sure exactly how much copper we have, but I want to have some more for the update anyways. Wish me luck. We'll see how much uh, copper we can actually get down here. Also, it looks like we're going to find lapis down here too. Got a little bit of ores. I think this will actually be enough copper for today. I'm going to go throw this inside my super smelter. Got a little a uh, little bit of diamonds, a little bit of lapis as well. We're going to head on over to the drown farm and we're going to see how much copper we can get from over there. No mistakes were made. I just threw my copper ores in here without realizing I should have flipping uh, did a fortune three on this thing. Uh oh. I'm losing copper by the second. Okay. Well, with that out the way, and I'm stalking, uh, you know, yelled at by Twitch chat. I'm going to actually smelt this now and hopefully make a little bit more, a little, a little bit more profit this time. Uh, this is a tunnel you don't see too often. On our way to the drown farm, hoping that it's in one piece because I honestly don't remember the last time I was at the drown farm. So there's a possibility our drown farm might be burned down. Who knows? It is burned down. I flip and knew it, dude. I think I left this place because I was under attack. I need to put a wall up because this place is ridiculous over here. But yeah, got to rebuild that. Big sad. Also, these guys, they don't really like me all that much. So, you know. Oh, which year is this guy from? Uh, 2023. Oh, damn. All right. Welcome to my drown farm. We're going to see how much copper we can get over here. Um, I think everything's working. I got everything like kind of closed off. Got these little dudes in here and stuff. You can tell I was here during Christmas. And by Christmas, I mean Halloween. 
to kind of get these guys to go but uh let's see how much copper we can get from in here and for those of you guys who are wondering where this uh drown farm is from it is a redstonia design this is where i get all my tridents as you guys can see uh, i think it gives me about 17 tridents per hour type deal and then obviously a lot of uh, nautilus shells and whatnot so i don't know how much copper it's supposed to give us though so i guess i'll be over here swiping away all right so that's all the copper that we got i only got like one more trident out of that but i don't really think this is a very effective way of getting a lot of copper i don't know let me know what you guys think uh you guys think is the fastest way to gain copper in the world well on the plus side we're now fully stocked up on tridents so that should last me a little while and in terms of copper i've got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff it also looks like i actually have some ores in here as well but i'm probably going to take all this copper and then everything that we have inside of the smelter so it looks like i got a little bit more fortune threeing to do a bunch more copper here gonna send this guy off i guess i must have i stood on the pressure plate apparently that just sends off the mine cart that's actually kind of good to know i'll put this stuff over here oh this one's on still so we'll turn that guy off and yeah i know i need a better system to be able to load this stuff up but for, for right now it's probably gonna be the scaffolds and probably a year from now there's probably still gonna be scaffolds back there so yeah you know Anyways, I digress. And you already know we're going to be taking that lapis with us as well. So hopefully we'll be able to finish off all the roofs, even though I've been saying that for probably the last five episodes. But, you know, check this out. Bam. Not too bad for a flipping Sunday, huh? Also, uh, happy Friday. And by Friday, I mean Father's Day. Uh, to those of you guys who are out there and it's Father's Day. I'm recording this on Father's Day, so... Don't mind me when I just say random days and stuff like that, because that's just a thing I do. And it looks like we have a bunch of copper now, but I don't think we're going to use that copper yet because I got some more in the base. All right, time to yoink all this. I think this will actually I'm going to uh, probably oxidize this while we're over there as well. Just going to bring everything with me. Oh, maybe these things as well, because those could be like little sprinklers and whatnot. And I'm just going to load them up and looking at all this copper things are looking extremely uh, unorganized so i think uh we're gonna have to expand our storage room here pretty soon for the new blocks in 1.21 and while we're in the area since i'm not in 1.21 like i said i don't have any of the actual oxidized copper so i'm gonna kind of place this stuff around here whoops mess that up just so this stuff can oxidize while we work on our interior here time to start working on the interior of this place first thing i want to do is i want to basically whoops i don't have a hud uh, and so I want to start getting rid of this basically and I'm going to lower this floor probably about uh, Three or four blocks down that way I can have the B ray here Make it look like it's actually sticking up above the floor. So we're going to do that So to bring a little bit more of this out I'm actually going to bring down the color of the B That way it actually looks like it's sticking out from the floor So we're going to kind of go around here and we're going to trace everything out that way We also we don't want to be able to see all this uh, this glass or this ice down here as well so i'm gonna start doing this and then we'll start up with the floor look at that thick bee look at that anyways jumping on over here i've also carried down the walls a little bit more so i'm able to actually build the floor in here now i think we got something figured out here gonna be doing the honeycomb pattern going all the way through here and then we might do honeycomb we might do azalea i'm not too sure what's going underneath all right now that we've got the honeycomb patterns in here we're gonna start to fill out the actual honeycomb so i'm thinking about alternating the honey with the actual honeycomb i think it'll look really cool especially when the whole thing is completely filled out so yeah i'm gonna start doing that now you know what me grabbing emeralds means yep you guessed it wandering trader time to find this guy he's somewhere around here he'll be the first one that i think we've gotten in this episode so let me see if i can try to find him or if he's gonna be a pain in the neck to oh it's right there hello oh no I don't see the guy uh oh two leads no i found him he's way over here i don't what happened there i just ran off all right let's see what we got going on here uh we got an astronaut oh what that's a first uh all right all right i don't know why we're getting two of the same blocks i have no idea what's going on here all right, let's see what these guys look like. So only two new ones here. We're looking at, what is this one called? The Ender Woman, which I thought looked really cool. And a different version 
of Tigger. I thought this one was a little bit better from the other one that I have inside the pack. This one's much nicer. All right, now that we got that out the way, check it out. I got a little bit more of the floor down here. A little bit of a progress update for you guys. Let me see if I can get up in here. Check it out. I'm trying to stay within uh, within the diagonal realm, but I don't think we're going to be... Um, I don't think that's going to be a possibility for long. I think once we get over to the point over here, things are just going to be uh, kind of random, you know? But let's go grab the honey so I can finish off this floor. Now that we got the entire floor lit up and everything is done, I want to glaze over this now with uh, brown glass. I think brown glass is going to look really nice, but I don't have any brown glass around here, so I'm going to go make some, and we're going to go make some brown terracotta, but check it out. Almost all of the copper that we've placed around the castle has been completely oxidized, and this has all been done in basically one stream, so I uh, wasn't expecting that. And well, a good thing for us is we have our proper brown dye farm in here where I don't think we'll ever have to worry about brown dye again. Behold, the bean farm. I'm not going to harvest all this because it actually takes forever to like replant, but it gives me about 2000 beans per harvest. So I think uh, I don't think we're going to need I don't think we're going to need brown dye for a while. And you know, when it comes down to terracotta, I definitely have a lot of terracotta that I can convert. So that won't be a problem. Glass, on the other hand, I'm not sure if I'm going to have a whole lot of glass with me. So I got a little bit of glass, but I don't think it's enough. We're going to have to go over to our villager trading hall and see how much glass we can buy from our librarians. Now time to see if we have enough resources to cover the entire floor now. Well, it seems as if I have forgotten a very important step. Dying the glass before I got here. And we're back. All right, got myself some brown dye. Now I can actually create the brown dye before I go back to my floors. That way I can actually finish the floor because I know how to Minecraft. As a full-time Twitch streamer, there are some things that I have to deal with. One of them being trolls. Welcome to my moderator here, Amanda Ace in Point. Thank you for looking like a doofus. In other news, I've got brown glass, so I'm going to start covering up all this thing so nothing actually works right here. Um, that doesn't make any sense. Nothing never works out here. Anyways, I think that actually looks really nice. So I'm going to do that. So as you guys can see, it was in fact not enough glass. So yeah, but I'm liking the look of it so far. I think it gives it like a nice little like um, hazy look on top of here. And I think it goes really well with the bee itself. We're going to have to like light up the bee. I'm thinking about maybe pressure plate or something like that. And then over here, maybe we'll use some other things. But yeah, we'll figure that out when the time comes. We'll pop that guy there. We'll do another round of trading. All right, now that we have all the glass placed on the floor, things are looking awesome. I also took the liberty of lighting up the bee, basically. So you'll notice that I've got a bunch of lights in here. And we put some underneath the trap doors. And by trap doors, I mean pressure plates. Um, so I think the bee is properly lit up. But it's also monday so that means i gotta clean up all this copper so we can do map monday and we can see all the progress we've made throughout the week and with all the copper all cleaned up let's take a look at our maps here so this is when we first started the project week two week three week four and we're about to make week five which i think is gonna be a big one because as you guys can see i didn't even have a castle this is gonna be sick okay we got our maps here i'm just gonna update our maps real quick so I'm going to do a little uh, a little cheeky flyby and uh, we're going to go put them up on the wall. I definitely don't have these in order at all. So now I kind of kind of figure out where things are at. So I think this guy goes right here. And then I've got this guy who goes down there. This guy maybe right here. Um, This guy I think goes that doesn't that doesn't seem right right there um this this is a this is a wild card so i'm thinking up there uh this guy goes there this right here don't look at that map but bam look how sick the lapis looks you can see like the, the different colors between the lapis and the wool and stuff like that as it goes through massive change since last week obviously we pretty much have the entire castle up now haven't done anything with the spider yet, so this remains unchanged. Looks as if uh, the shulker monster has grown up quite a bit since the last one, but there's the updated map. 
now with map monday out the way i want to start working on a little bit of the ceiling that's going to go on in here because it's not going to be a brown ceiling i'm actually probably going to bring this down by a few blocks and then i'm going to be creating a moss ceiling so i can do the uh the interior of the greenhouse and also do the other stuffs botanical garden stuff also we'll be able to like hide this type of stuff too so probably gonna bring it probably gonna bring it down to about three blocks i think we've got everything laid out now uh this is where i plan to put my domes so i've got a giant circle right here that i plan to bring up there and i've also kind of like indicated that i'm going to be covering up this because i don't think this is going to go with the vibe here so we're going to make our own pillars right here we'll work on the door frame we'll have another feature coming out of these walls over here uh and the same thing back here as well where we'll have like these circles are all like mapped out all along here we have our features going along these walls now to bring these stone thingies up to the top potentially using dark oak Take a little bit of a mental break from the inside of the castle. And I got emeralds in hand. You know what that means? We got ourselves a wandering trader somewhere. So hopefully he hasn't died. We got him. Homie's on the roof. Totally would have fallen to death. Okay. What do we got? We got Winnie the Pooh. We got a wax seal over oh, skull. Really cool. Power armor. This dragon. And that guy. Honestly, there's only one new block here and that's this guy the petunia dragon i think that's how you say that but i think i got it it kind of looks like a bird really cool looking block but anyways let's get back to the inside of the castle bam we got spheres in place yes spheres not balls spheres anyways we got ourselves a little bit of dome action going on here so i should probably record that no i shouldn't keep that in the video should i anyways I'm going to be building up the domes here where we're going to have our glass and then we're going to build all those, all, all those up. I decided to get rid of these ones over here because I'm probably going to work it up into the area over there. Uh, now I got to work out a little bit of a curvature of the middle thing right here. And then I've got this guy over here that I need to work out. But other than that, making progress. But yeah, I'm going to go check out and see if we got any uh, dark oak slabs inside our storage room. Oh, we actually do have a good amount of dark oak slabs. Don't ask me why I have so much, but we have dark oak slabs. And before we actually get to utilize those uh, dark oak slabs, I was doing a little bit of work in here, laying out a little bit of the groundwork, but you could see, look at those. Looks in pretty cool, huh? I love the domes in here. Gives it a very earthy looking effect. I still have to do this guy and still got to do this guy, but I need to get myself some birch leaves in order to carry on with that. And I think we've came up with something that looks really nice here. So what I've done is I pretty much brought in it all together here, even drooped it in a little bit more. You guys can probably see that I got like the fence post in place as well. So I plan to also bring down those fence posts so I can incorporate a little bit of light in here. We now officially have all of our stone, our, our mossy stone and our tough stone all placed up here. I'm obviously going to bring down a couple more of these. I need to build up the pillars. We're going to have water cascading from the roof, but this is kind of what we're going for here and if i turn my gamma all the way down and then kind of crank it back up you can kind of see a little bit of what we got going on here so this is starting to look more like a terrarium i'm gonna have leaves draping down as well and i might put like some really cool like beehives with some really neat bee elements in here as well but basically what i gotta do here is i gotta take this and i gotta carry it on over to this side so work you know because i thought i was playing a video game but really i'm i'm, I'm working I'm working, but I'm loving it. Well, that's the entire roof done and dusted. So we got this whole thing in place. I want to start making a little bit more color incorporate into this. I almost messed up my words there, but you guys will notice that we got like these guys. I want to start hanging some lanterns. I think some like nice little chains and lanterns would look really cool, but also some foliage, foliage as well. All right. I think we now finished the entire roof. Without all of the details and such, obviously I got a, quite a bit of lighting up to do. I'm going to be putting fountains in here, like I said earlier, but I think fundamentally this is exactly what I kind of want to go for when I'm going for the uh, ceiling that's going in here. A little bit more earthy. We got like the undertones of the lamps in here. I don't know if it looks different with shaders, so we can take a look at that. Oh, you can see the lichen. Oh, hmm, not a fan of the lichen. Also, you can see through honey blocks. Yikes. All right, now that we got the ceiling done here, you guys can see that we are starting to put in a little bit of the texture on the walls. There's going to be no windows going in here. But speaking of which, 
that means i'm gonna have to put the windows and the archways in uh here in a minute we're gonna have cascading waterfalls coming into a little ponds right here and then over here i'm gonna have a waterfall coming in here waterfall coming in here and then we're gonna connect the water going all the way across and we're gonna build ourselves a bridge to kind of separate the two rooms so we're gonna have like this room and this room back here and i got something big going on here but i want to get the windows in place first so i can work around them but unfortunately i don't think we're gonna have time to take on all that today so we're gonna have to leave that one till the next episode hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode leave a like if you did subscribe if you guys want to see some more and i'll see you guys in the next episode